Hello everybody, thank you for clicking on this video. I have a question for you. Do you ever have the problem of updating your website? Right? The website that we have, it's mainly as a window uh, for our parents to see into our classrooms, to see what we're doing on a daily basis. And, you know, it's at times hard for us to go and update that constantly and make it the best window for our parents as we possibly can. We're spending a lot of time in our own LMS trying to update it for our students and our parents don't really have access all the time to our LMS materials. So how are we going to get the information to them about what we're doing in the classroom, but not really putting extra work on us, the educators, on having to update our LMS for our students and also having to update constantly our website for our parents. One way that I found to get around this is by using Remind. Um, Remind is a messaging app that allows uh, teachers to stay into contact with students and parents uh, constantly. Um, on, on the onset, what Remind does is it allows you to send messages uh, to uh, every class that you have and also allow parents to join those classes and, and get text messages or SMS messages on the ongoings of your class. But once again, we want them to be able to update the website. So what I have found is a widget on Remind that actually takes any messages that you push out to your students' devices, but also it'll update your website as well. So what I did is I logged into Remind and I'm gonna click on my account right up at the top. And when I click account, there's a little button right here that says widgets. And what it's gonna allow you to do is get an embed code to bring all of your information right into your website. Now, the website that I'm gonna be using is a Google site. So here's the thing. When you click on this under advanced settings, there is an option for Google site, but here's the caveat on that one. If you click on that, that is the old or the classic Google sites. That's not the new Google sites. If you want to have it work in the new Google sites, and I know this sounds weird, you have to click on Wix. Um, I know it's, it's not a Wix website, but it does use the same kind of embed code that Wix does. I'm going to change it from all classes to, let's say, eighth grade parents. Um, or let's, I'll, I'll go ahead and keep it as all classes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the widget right here. I'm going to go to my site and I'm going to find where do I want to post it so parents can see it, usually on the main page. So I'm going to double click and the wheel of awesomeness pops up and there's the embed code right off to the side. I'm going to choose embed code option. I'm going to paste the code I just copied and I'm going to click next and it's going to give you a preview. There you go. It's right there and I'm going to click insert. And there we go. And I click publish. And now anytime I update my remind site or my and I, or I send out a remind message off of my phone via the remind app, it will not only go to all of my students devices, but it will also update my website with that. And so what I've seen people do, um, especially coaches, is they will forget to post an agenda or they'll forget to post the daily uh, things that their kids are doing in their class. And so what they'll do is they'll send out a reminder, hey kids, this is what we did in class today for any of you who missed it. It goes to those students and that's great for those students who are absent but it also will go to the website so parents will actually see what was going on in class that day. This is just a really quick example of how to limit redundancy in your daily lives so you don't have to keep updating your LMS and then also updating your website in one fail swoop just because you're already sending out messages with Remind. It will already update your website for you in one single click. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and uh, retweet it on Twitter or uh, let your friends know by sharing this out with them. Uh, I am Joe Marquez. You can find me on Twitter at Joe Marquez 70. It was great talking with you and I'll catch you later.